did a different one. In this one, it's 4D plus 5D equals 9D. And here we have 4 dots plus 5 dots equals the total of 9 dots. And then it's spelled out 4 dots plus 5 dots equals 9 dots. Right now I'm going to show them how to do it, and then they're going to show you the cool creations that they made on the computers doing this. The way that they did this was, starting from scratch, is they went into Microsoft Word, which is at the bottom of the screen, and it, they double-clicked it from the dock, and... And then they went and clicked Word, and then they clicked Open. And then what they did was they clicked View, and they had clicked their formatting palette, and they also clicked Toolbars, and they clicked Drawing. And then what we did was we went to our formatting palette, which is right here, and we clicked Add Objects. We clicked in here, and then we clicked the circle. And we're gonna use this one a lot. And then what we did was we went and we made a giant circle. And you can make it more oval if you want. And then you can just stretch it out if you want to make it look a little bit different. Then what we did was we took the line on the side over here. And this is part of the drawing tools. And we went and clicked a line approximately in the center. You're basically working from the outside in. And then we clicked and made another line approximately halfway across. And then if it wasn't quite there, you could just move it up or down with hitting the line. Now, in order to insert the text box, we went insert, text box, and we went and created the text box. And then what we did was we went in there and we typed our equation. I'll just do 3 plus 4 equals 7 for time's sake. And then they did the shift to get the plus, then they put their number, then they put equal, and then they put their number. Then they highlighted it to make it bigger so that you could see it on the screen better. And then what they did was they sized it, and then they clicked in the box, and then they went over here, and then they went and changed the color of the background so that it would look really cool. Here's the font colors. And here's the borders and shading where they want to go do the fill color. And so in this case, I'll just pick a light fill color because it's easier to read. So I go in there, I pick a nice light fill color, and then you can still read the numbers. And we're going to do the same thing for the next one. We're going to do insert, and we're going to do text box, except this time we're going to do for 3D plus 4D equals 7D. So we go 3D plus 4D equals 7D. And then we went and changed the font size so that it was bigger again. And then we went and we picked a fill color. So we went back to our fill color. We went back to the borders and shading and picked a nice light color so that the numbers would stand out. Okay. Then we went in here, and this is where it's really cool, where we actually made the circle graph. So the way to do that is you basically have to work from the outside in or else it's not going to work. So we went in here, clicked the circle, and made a giant circle in the middle here. And then what we did was we made another giant circle as big as we could. And then what we did was we moved it as far over as we could. We did edit copy, and then we did edit paste, and that would make our duplicate one. So then we'd come over here. And now we're going to make some little circles, and we're going to do the same thing for the little circles, but they're going to be smaller. So we went in there, made a decent size shape, and then we went and did edit, copy, and did edit, paste for as many as we need. Now we need, here's two, then I need another one for this one, edit, paste, makes it three. Then I need another four, edit, paste, edit, paste, edit, paste edit paste and then what we did was we moved it into the circles so that you could see the circles the way they were and then what we did was we picked a fill color for them so they look really cool so they went in and they highlighted one of the circles and then they picked a color for one of them and then they would pick a color for the other so we're back to our fill color over here and we're going to pick a color this one nice and bold so you can see it 
then we click it, and then you can click that color again to keep it the same color. And then we went over here and we picked a different color. So we came in, we picked a different color, and then we did the same thing for this one. So we had it more than one. And so we did one more. Then we went to our very last one, and then we typed it out. So we went insert, and then we did one more text box. And then what we did was we typed the words three plus four equals seven in this case. And then we made our font size much bigger so that you could see it. So it would go to like 22 or whatever. Then we'd size it. And then, oops, I made it a little too small. And then what we did was we clicked on and we did a fill color. So we went to our borders and shading. We picked a fill color for that one too, a nice light color. Now let's see exactly what they came up with on their computers. Hi, my name is Abraham, Abraham and this is my, my circle graph I made in Mrs. Ms. Dane after school class. Hi, my name is Arturo. I did a circle graph in Mrs. Dane after school program. My name is Matthew. I made a circle map in Mrs. and Mrs. Dane's after school program class. Hi, my name is Brian. And this is my and Miss Dane after school class. Hi, my name is Brian. This is my circle map that I created in Mrs. Dane after school program. Hi, my name is Alexis and this is what I did in Mrs. Dane's after school class.